Can I push the podium, Your Honor? Or you want me right here? That's fine. I've been a police officer 26 years. I met Mike Persona when he came over to my watch. Um, and we got along pretty well. I worked at Cox 12, he worked at Car 8. And we have done and saved lives all the time. Mike was always there. He was always ready to help. The amount of CPR we have done, the fires we have run into, probably when we shouldn't have, to save somebody's life. My wife and I hadn't taken a honeymoon, so Mike off to watch our dog. And he's a big dog, he's a shepherd at Kita. Nobody wanted to watch him. And Mike took me to his house, and he asked me, hey, it's all right if I go out for a little while and leave Harley there. I said, yeah, it should be. Mike came back, and all I got was a picture of his bed, ripped apart. <laughs> he didn't get mad. He left it that way until I got it, and I was able to see it. He also, at the same time, he was watching my dog. My dog alerted to something outside his house, and it was a fatality. The gentleman got hit crossing the street, and Mike stayed with him until he took his last breath. He didn't leave him. He wasn't alone. Mike is kind-hearted. He loves his job. Everything he does is for a purpose. I've seen Mike not hesitate sometimes when dealing with alcohol-related incidents. And there was a time when we were at Almax, and Mike didn't react first, and he ended up getting his head split open. So when you hear blue blood, it's when one of us bleeds, we all bleed. But then also funerals, Officer Gagney was, he hesitated. He was hit with a rock and killed. We knew that. We're trained to react. But in all my time, I couldn't say I had never worked with a better police officer than Mike. He's helped everyone, children, homeless. His heart is great. In closing, Your Honor, you have the toughest job, whether to send him to prison, and he's got to deal with that, or be lenient and let him live his life over one incident. Thank you, Your Honor.